affirmations work 100% of the time. And if you don't think they do, well, there's a pretty good reason for it that nobody else is telling you. What could that reason be? I'm going to tell you in just a minute. I'm um, Reverend Allie Bierman, and you are partaking in our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. So here's the thing that nobody else is telling you about why affirmations don't seem to work. And by the way, I will tell you later on how to get my program on how to create affirmations that definitely will work because you got to know how to say them, what to say, what kind of language to say them in. And here's the number one thing nobody else is telling you. 95% of the thoughts that you think every day, 95% of the 65,000 thoughts if you're a man, 95% of the 80,000 thoughts if you're a woman. They're happening completely out of your awareness in your subconscious mind and therefore when you state something that's contrary to one of those subconscious programs, duh, of course it can't happen. And because those same programs run day after day after day after week after year after decade after decade, of course your world's going to look the same every day because the universe says, oh, 95% of the day, these are the thoughts you're thinking. The universe always gives you what you ask for. Affirmations always work. One thing we do in our ministry, one thing I do a lot of every day and have been for decades, is I express happy shares. A happy share is something that leaves you feeling happy and it's not because of something that happened to your spouse or your kids or your parents or your friend. It's something that happened for you. But not just making you feel happy, because when you feel happy, you're also going to feel grateful about this thing that leaves you feeling happy, feeling at peace, feeling calmer, feeling joy. So my happy share right now for you is that I'm getting to share this because it's a habit I've been doing, as I said, for decades. So first thing every morning I get up, I list 10 things for which I feel happy and grateful, right then. Last thing, before I close my eyes and go to sleep at night, I list 10 things. Oh, and by the way, write them down, say them out loud. That makes them even more powerful. I list those 10 things before going to sleep. Well, why do I do it at those times? When I wake up in the morning and I list those 10 things, I'm setting my day up in an energy that's going to allow me to see lots for which to feel happy and grateful. Same concept at night before I go to sleep. I'm setting up my mind because your brain does not sleep. Your brain will keep working. And instead of playing on your phone, which definitely isn't good for your well-being or your vision or your health, Instead of doing that, you list the 10 things for which you feel happy and grateful, and that sets your mind in a place you're going to sleep better and you're going to have happier dreams. Here's the other time I do 10 things for which I feel happy and grateful. If I notice that I'm feeling any way other than happy, I'm going to stop myself right there because it's a choice to feel happy. It's a choice to feel grateful. It's a choice to see things in the world that are there for us because the universe is always doing for us, not hurting us, but giving us what we need to move our life forward. Not always in the manner we would like, but always in our highest and best interest. So if I'm not feeling happy, I'm going to 
stop what I'm doing. I'm going to list 10 things, honestly, out loud, for which I feel happy and grateful in that moment. It could be that my eyes are working. It could be that my voice is actually coming out when I open my mouth to speak. It could be that I'm full of energy. It could be all kinds of simple things, but it's easy to find 10 things when you've already created the habit of happiness. So that's what I want you to know and incorporate it in your life starting today because it will make a huge world of difference. The universe looks down on you and says, ah. Oh. So instead of spending all that time out of your awareness thinking thoughts you don't like, you want to spend time making your world happier. And you're feeling grateful for that. Oh, of course I'm going to give you everything you ask for, which the universe does always, because the universe doesn't know good or bad or happy or sad. You ask for it, it delivers. You gotta pay attention to what you're asking for. You gotta bring into your awareness the things that are now out of your awareness. If you haven't done so yet, go on over, get the link below, and make sure you pick up your copy a step in a new direction because it's going to get you started thinking differently and being different in your everyday life and it's a really quick read but reading it doesn't do you any good you gotta apply the steps that are very clearly stated in it the program that I made the audio program for how to state affirmations so that they actually will work Go and learn more about that over at letsgetmetaphysicalpodcast.com forward slash affirmations. There's a whole lot to it, but it's very simple to do. In it. I look forward to being with you again next week. In the meantime, enjoy a very blessed week.